What are the penalties for drug possession? In most regions, possession of illegal or regulated drugs is a criminal offense that can result in many different penalties. Depending on the type of drug, the amount possessed, local laws, and the criminal history of the perpetrator, penalties may include anything from mandated drug treatment to mandatory beheading. Information on specific legal penalties for drug possession is usually available on the law enforcement websites for the region in question. In the United States, each state has different penalties for drug possession. The type of drug, amount possessed, and prior convictions for possession or trafficking are all basic criteria used to set penalty schedules in the different states. In Connecticut, for instance, a first offender in possession of less than 4 ounces, 115 grams, of marijuana can receive up to a year in prison and a $1,000 US dollar, USD, fine. In the same state, first-time possession of any amount of heroin, cocaine, or crack, is punishable by up to seven years in jail and a $50,000 US dollars fine. California recently has been in the headlines for the reduction of prosecution when it comes to marijuana drug possession. Despite federal laws to the contrary, hundreds of medical marijuana dispensaries operate within the state. Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger made headlines in 2010 when he signed a bill reducing the classification of possession of small amounts of marijuana from a misdemeanor to an infraction. Penalties for qualifying possession infractions may be charged a fine, but are not eligible for jail time. Much of Europe classifies drug abuse as a health problem to be treated, rather than a crime to be punished. Though many have strict consequences for trafficking or possession of large amounts of drugs, they tend to offer treatment programs and fines as alternatives to prison for those convicted of misdemeanor drug possession. In Portugal, possession has been decriminalized entirely, as authorities believe it is far more important to bring drug addicts into treatment than to prosecute them for crimes. Lenience is not universal in Europe, however, Greece has an interesting program in which penalties for those believed to be not addicted to drugs are significantly higher than for those deemed to be addicts. Several countries institute long prison sentences and even the death penalty for drug possession. Iran and Saudi Arabia impose long jail sentences and whipping or flogging for possession. Malaysia and Singapore, meanwhile, have mandatory death penalty sentences for possession of even small amounts of certain drugs, such as heroin.